most of the past two and a half million years is defined as the Pleistocene Epoch. Whether the start date of 2.5 million years ago is used, which would thus include all of the glaciations, or the more recent consensus by geologists of 1.8 million years ago. The Pleistocene is estimated to have ended around 11,000 years ago. And during this time, a large number of extinctions have occurred, especially those affecting the megafauna, the large mammals and birds which inhabited our planet. What was the cause of the mass extinction, particularly of the megafauna? Well, certainly climactic changes can be invoked, given that there was a series of glacial advances and then warmer interglacial epochs during this time period, which drastically changed the climate and the habitats of our planet. There was also a volcanic eruption around 73,000 years ago in Indonesia, which might have contributed. Not only did members of the genus Homo spread throughout Africa and the remainder of the world starting two million years ago with earlier species, but in the past 100,000 years, not only has the species Homo sapiens spread throughout Africa, but also throughout other portions of the world. Homo sapiens and more primitive species of the genus Homo were adept at walking and running upright, which allowed them to migrate and to hunt by endurance running in ways that other animals simply had not. So while four-footed animals may outrun humans over short distances, the endurance running of humans and the ability to cool by sweating, which very few animals possess, allowed them to hunt animals until they literally dropped from exhaustion. The enlarged brain of Homo uh, species, and particularly Homo sapiens, allowed not only for strategy and premeditated plans to migrate with uh, animals and to lay traps for them, but also to fashion tools of stone and wood which could pierce hides which had previously been protected from claws and teeth. Thus, overhunting by humans was probably not only a factor in many Pleistocene extinctions, it could very well have been the major factor in the majority of Pleistocene extinction.